The United States will soon have new sets of eyes in the sky to monitor specific Chinese military activities. Raytheon Technologies has received an award valued at more than $250 million to design, develop, and deliver a seven-vehicle missile tracking satellite constellation as well as support launch and ground operations by the Space Development Agency, or SDA. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. is building a special system to monitor the Chinese military. Let's get into the details. In 2021, satellite imagery that had been obtained by the New York Times pointed to China's efforts of constructing new silos at a site in a desert near the northwestern city of Yumen. Matt Korda and Hans Christensen from the Federation of American Scientists, who first spotted the development, dubbed it the most significant expansion of the Chinese nuclear arsenal ever. There are clear indications that China is on its way to significantly enhancing its warhead and delivery capabilities in the coming days. These developments have necessitated the need for a better monitoring framework. The finances stem from a congressional funding boost in the fiscal 2023 Defense Appropriations Act. The spending package, signed by President Joe Biden on December 29th, included $250 million specifically designed to help Indo-Pacific Command keep tabs on Chinese ballistic and hypersonic missile launches. The spending bill earmarked the new funds for Indo-PACCOM missile tracking demonstration expansion. A Space Development Agency spokesperson stated the new satellites will be integrated into SDA's first operationally capable set of Low Earth Orbit LEO, satellites, called Tranch 1. Tranche 1 will include both missile warning and tracking birds for the tracking layer and data relay satellites for the transport layer of the agency's planned and newly named proliferated warfighter space architecture. The SDA spokesperson said the agency, in July 2022, awarded L3 Harris and Northrop Grumman contracts worth a total of $1.3 billion to develop the Tranche 1 tracking layer satellites, with each company to build 14 satellites to be deployed in two different orbital planes. Under SDA's current schedule, launches of those satellites would begin in April 2025 but the Raytheon birds will fly later in 2025. The spokesperson added, We are planning for these satellites to launch around the end of calendar year 2025, after the other Tranche 1 space vehicles previously on contract are launched. This stands to reason because the other performers got an earlier start to their Tranche 1 work. T1 tracking original contracts were announced in July of 2022. Once deployed, the LEO constellation of network satellites will become the fifth plane of satellites providing missile warning and tracking to the U.S. Department of Defense. Viewers may note that Raytheon Technologies has been developing missile warning systems for decades, but since acquiring Blue Canyon Technologies and Seeker Engineering, Raytheon Technologies has expanded its space payload and satellite bus capabilities and expertise becoming a leading provider of space systems to a growing number of programs. Raytheon will leverage existing designs, available commercial products, and common components to reduce technical risk and speed delivery. The seven-vehicle satellite constellation will feature Raytheon's wide field of view, overhead, persistent infrared sensor, Blue Canyon's Technologies, Saturn-class SmallSat bus, and Seeker Engineering's electronics payload. Dave Broadbent, president of Space and C2 at Raytheon Intelligence and Space, said, Developing a resilient and affordable proliferated satellite constellation in low Earth orbit will improve our ability to track emerging threats like hypersonic missiles. Continuing to develop this architecture with SDA and our industry partners will be a high priority for us in the coming months. The disputes between the United States and China are numerous and complex and involve a wide range of economic, 
political and strategic issues. This includes differences in trade, technology, and security. As per most experts, the question is no longer if the US and China will engage in a conflict, but it's when. Over the last decades, the communist regime has worked to ramp up its military. The latest defense budget for 2023 is set to grow by 7.2%. US military leaders have pointed out that China, not bound by any arms control treaty, has increased its stockpiles of missiles several folds and is working on state-of-the-art technologies like hypersonic weapons. Given the situation, the U.S. needs better situational awareness of Chinese activities, and the new eyes in the sky will enable that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.